Baraka the Yehoah, Baraka the Yehoah Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yehoah, Bahashem Yehoah Shai, Bahashem Kakwadash, double honors to our apostles and notice that great millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful of light. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yehoah Bahashem Yehoah Shai. Yehoah Bahashem Yehoah Shai, Ratazada's lesson is edifying to you that are part of the hopeful elect, you sincere believers, you brothers, you know, and few sisters that subscribe into this truth that are patiently awaiting the return of Yahweh Shai, you know, that are living according to faith, that are living according to the fear of Yahweh, all right, and faith in Yahweh Shai. All right, this is how you're going to overcome this man's system, man. All right, not bowing the knee to the image of Baal, not receiving the true mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, or not receiving this man's vaccine, you know, as some false prophets are leading you to believe that it is okay to do such a thing. You know, in which these things goes against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Second Thessalonians 3 and 2. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. For all men have not faith. The inspiration of this lesson comes from, you know, the video that was done by the man who calls himself General Yohanna. All right, in which he's not a prophet or a true man of the Lord. Hey, the scriptures say that you would know a tree by its fruits. All right, and his fruits are wicked, man. All right, you would know a, a false prophet by the things that he teach you. First of all, you know, in this three recent video that was three hours, 28 minutes and 13 seconds, all right, there was only four scriptures that were brought out in which all of them were broken down wrong. And then also, he never mentioned the name of Yahweh. He never mentioned the name of Yahweh Shai. And he never mentioned to have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He never mentioned anything concerning faith. All right, but he told you to pretty much have faith in Esau Edom. In so many words, all right, he told you to put your faith and your trust in Esau's wisdom and in him. But he never mentioned to trust and believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, it's through Yahweh Shai that we're going to overcome. All right, it's through Yahweh Shai that we have gotten the victory. The book of John, the 16th chapter, and going down to 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now part of the tribulation that we're going to endure is the hour of temptation. The word there for tribulation is threpsis, which means oppressing, pressing together, pressure, metaphor, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits. All right, Esau is about to put you in straits concerning all right, the, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right, and first beginning all right, with this Maxine. All right, with this Maxine, they're going to eventually make it mandatory for everyone to receive it. And for those that don't receive it, you're going to be ostracized from society. All right, Esau would take you. You know, he would throw you in jail. All right, he would, you know, ruin your life, so to speak. You know, he's going to take away your job. You know, he's going to take away, you know, the money and the monetary system that you are used to. All right, and he's going to introduce something else eventually. All right, but the way that you're going to overcome this moment, all right, Revelation 2 and 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, and you, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, how do you remain faithful? Or what do you remain faithful to? Or rather, who do you remain faithful to? The word, therefore, faithful, uh, jumping down, believing, confiding, trusting in the New Testament, one who trusts Yahweh's promises. All right, one who is convinced that Yahweh Shai has been raised from the dead. One who has been convinced that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah and the author of salvation. So through believing in Yahweh Shai, that's how you overcome. That's how you're going to overcome the mark of the beast. That's how you're going to overcome the image of the beast. That's how you're going to overcome the tribulation that is going to be caused by this beast system. 
all right, for you not wanting to comply with them, all right, them throwing you in jail, them torturing you. Now, we're not saying these things because we are afraid of the beast and, and whatever, all right, because the scripture tells you, you know, whom you shall fear, all right, you shall fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, but we tell you these things as a warning, as prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we tell you these things as a warning. So that you may escape the danger to come. And you would know to choose the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and to keep the faith in Yahweh Shai. All right, because that's how you're going to overcome. Luke 12 and 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he have killed hath the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. So who is that that we should, should fear? All right, that him is Yahweh. All right, the power that sits on the throne. And we must keep his commandments, all right, and have the faith in Yahweh Shai, and that's how we're going to win. All right, that's how we're going to get the victory. Revelation, the 12th chapter, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Jumping over to the book of Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. That's how we're going to overcome, through keeping the commandments of Yahweh and the faith in Yahweh Shai. All right, but individuals like that isn't preparing you. All right, that's the reason why when Esau rolls out this Maxine, all right, they're telling you to roll your sleeves up, all right, and to receive this. All right, they're telling you, in so many words to deny, you know, the, 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 the prophets and what they're teaching, which is the scriptures, all right, which ultimately is denying Yahweh Shai and to trust what the self-proclaimed white man is telling you, all right, trust his wisdom, trust, trust all of the things that he's saying concerning uh, um, the, the, the uh, Maxine, all right. 1 John, the fifth chapter, verse 4, it says, For whatsoever is born of Yahweh overcome of the world, and this is the victory that overcome of the world, even our faith. All right, so we have need of faith. And we have need of faith in who? All right, who is he that overcome of the world, but he that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High? So we believe in Yahweh Shai, and we keep the commandments to the best of our ability. And it's surprising that the commandments of Yahweh Bashmel Shai says not to make a cutting or a piercing in the flesh. The commandments also say not to make a covenant with the heathen. So you're going to make a covenant with the heathen just so that you can continue on in the society. All right. So, you know, because within the video, they mentioned purchasing land. 2021 is going to be their year. All right. Says who? Where's the prophecy on that? Where's the scriptures that say that? You know, because when you go into scriptures like the book of John, the fourth chapter, and the 13th verse, it says, Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year. All right, because 2020 is a new year, right? So you're saying you're going to continue there a year. But all of these signs are happening in the earth to let you know that Yahweh is visiting this earth in which he made. And buy and sell and get gain. Because he also mentioned purchasing a building, all right? And, and at the bottom, it being a soup kitchen, and uh, I don't remember exactly, you know, what was at the top. All right, he mentioned next year, you know, having the Passover. All right, he mentioned that it's going to be $200 uh, per person to attend the Passover. So this man is really about money, all right? Who, hey, the scripture says, who God is their belly, Reading on, it says, Where is ye know not what shall be on the morrow? For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appear for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boasting. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you are full of sin. All right, there's also a parable that Yahweh Shai gave concerning a man that was pensioned. All right, and said that the Lord gave a good, a big increase. 
And he said, what shall I do? And he said, I will build a bigger barn. And he said that the Lord called that man's soul back to him. And afterwards, who did he leave that substance to? So you don't know what's going to happen, man. And it says also in the book of Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter, in about the twelfth verse, it says, For a man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it falls suddenly upon him. And you're not watching, you know, and, and monitoring the time. You're not occupied in prophecy. So you don't know what the hell is going on. The only thing that you know is somebody responded back to something that you said, which was completely carnal and not based off faith. So you did an emotional video that was three hours, 28 minutes and 13 seconds long and brought out four scriptures in which you broke down wrong. And the rest was just an emotional rant. You know, it was just an emotional rant. All right. You didn't warn the people to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You didn't mention the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right. And you pretty much told to peop the people to deny the prophets and to trust Esau, the self-proclaimed white man, over the prophets and what the scriptures are saying. Luke 21 and 34, it says, And take heed to yourselves, lest ye be, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you in unawares. And that's all that I heard in that video. All right, was you being concerned with the cares of this life. Oh, I got a soup kitchen and I fed this person and I put this person in school. And, you know, this person, you know, we put them through doctor school and, you know, and we're looking to buy land and and um, you, you don't hear any other teachers talking about building up communities and building schools. Are you concerned with the cares of this life, my man? You're not concerned with prophecy. You're not concerned with the kingdom. So therefore, you are you are full of sh surfeiting. All right. You are full of uh, 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 wine. All right. Which is false philosophy. All right, the philosophies of this world, which got you drunk and to the point where, you, where you're asleep and you're putting the people to sleep. Strong's G 2897, Kripale, Kripale, Thayer's Lexicon, Related Entry, Kripale, Kripale. The giddiness and headache caused by drinking wine to excess. So you are completely drunken and you are not observing the times through prophecy. All right. And the reason why is truly because you're not a prophet. For a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the son of man. So these people that you are preparing or call yourself preparing, they're not going to be ready in the day of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, in which he cometh as a thief in the night. Because they too are going to be drunk off of the philosophy and not ready. All right, they're going to be in the spirit of, you know, uh, 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 going to soup kitchens and, 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 you know, building up a community. All right, they're not ready to get the hell out of here. Which the scripture says that when you see certain things happening, all right, be in the spirit of, of being a pilgrim in the earth or right, someone that's ready to lose everything. But they're not going to be ready to, to lose everything. All right. Going over to the book of Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, reading from verse 40, it says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And then those 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 evils be even as pilgrims in the earth. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise, as he that hath no profit by, and he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. So that's the mentality that you're supposed to be in. All right, although you're building, which there's no sin against having a building, and there's no sin against having land. 
But if you're putting those things over the truth, all right, then there is a problem with that. If you're putting those things over your how about Shemel Shai, then there is a, a problem in that. All right, and nobody fears, you know, Esau Edom, and nobody fears his 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 uh, Maxine, but we fear sinning against Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and we believe that receiving this is a sin against Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So that's the reason that we're not in the spirit of taking it, because we would rather fall into the hands of Yahweh than into the hands of man, like it says right here within. The book of Sirach, the second chapter, in the 18th verse. It says, saying, We will fall into the hands of Yahweh and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. And David shared the same sentiment. David was in the same spirit, all right, in which uh, Israel sinned against the Most High Heavenly Father, all right, and he was angry. And he moved David to number the children of Israel. You know, so when David did that, what did the Lord do? He brought a plague upon the children of Israel. So we understand that this plague, which is a Sivit 1984, is ultimately from Yahweh Bashmi Shai, although he used Esau as an agent to spread it throughout the earth. At the end of the day, Yahweh Bashmi Shai is the one that is controlling, controlling all of these nations that are in charge. All right, he's the one that's controlling Esau Edom. So at the end of the day, this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doing. So we ought to fear him and trust in him and to fall into his hands rather than to fall into the hands of men. But if you receive a Maxine, that's you trusting in Esau Edom for aid. That's you trusting in him for support. That's you trusting in him for deliverance. That's you staying upon your oppressor that smote you. If you do the same with the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, all right, that's you trusting and falling into the hands of men. Are right, you looking for his mercy? All right, which the scriptures say that the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So Esau has an agenda at the end of the day, but you want to convince the people that Esau isn't against them. All right, and that he wants to keep them alive. Does not the scripture say that I will put enmity between all right, the, the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent? Does not the scripture say two nations were separated from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other people? All right, the children of Esau hate us, man, and we hate them. First Chronicles 21 and 1. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. So Satan stood up and provoked David to number Israel, which the Most High Heavenly Father sent Satan to do this. All right, and it mentions that also within uh, 2 Samuel 24 and 1. It says, and again, the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Israel, and he moved David against them to go, uh, to say, uh, go and number Israel and Judah. So the anger of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai was provoked against the children of Israel, so he sent David to number Israel. And when David numbered Israel, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai sent the plague. This is uh, 2 Chronicles 21 and 11. So God came to David and said unto him, Thus have Yahweh choose thee, either three years of famine, three months uh, to de be destroyed of thy foes, and while the sword of thine enemies overtake thee, or else three days the sword of Yahweh, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of Yahweh destroying throughout all the coasts of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself, what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in, in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of Yahweh, for very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. So Yahweh sent pestilence in Israel, and there fell in Israel 70,000 men. So it was Yahweh by Shemuel that brought the plague upon the children of Israel. All right, so... What did David say? He said, let me fall into the hands of Yahweh than rather to fall into the hands of men. All right, but Yahana wants you to fall into the hands of men. All right, which the, the men doesn't show you any mercy at all. All right, as I quoted the scripture, uh, the tender mercy of the wicked are cruel. So it is Yahweh at the end of the day that bring these viruses and plagues and pestilence and diseases in the earth. So therefore, the best thing to do 
is to repent and to turn away from your iniquity. All right, to repent and turn away from your iniquity. All right, to turn away from your sins and to ask Yahweh by Shemiahu for mercy. All right, and to fear him and to have faith in his son. And that's how you be healed. 